Hi, I'm Naleska, and welcome to my videographic channel. Today I'm going to be trophy hunting for my All Things Nerdy bucket list to attain 50 platinum trophies. This is part 4 of The Walking Dead. If you haven't watched part 1, 2 or 3, I shall link them in the description box below for you to go to check out before or after this one. It would make more sense to watch it before this, but let's jump right into it. Go. On the Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's oh. the problem? They killed off Carly. No, I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you, as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, y'all keep going on like this. I feel like there's something shady about him. What do we do? Here, oh. I forgot all about this. God damn. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! There's also something kind of sketchy right about those other two that we found. Be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, that teenager definitely has to go. He's... I don't know. But I doubt we're going to be happy when we find oh, out. Definitely not. series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. That's the hardest part about this game is like the choices I make actually fucking matter. But he always fucking dies. <laughs> okay. is gonna get us killed just for a little while we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are maybe i can not now clementine maybe later okay okay how's on his legs pretty bad i'm fine you're not fine you need to rest he needs to rest <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Uh, Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up. <sighs> Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. Kenny. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing Wait. that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. That bell's gonna call for some What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Mm-hmm. Someone's up there! Are you sure? 
Mm. I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said it's that thing trap. didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. Clementine. Get off the fucking street. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Mm -hmm. Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> what are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Isn't gonna fucking help. Watch him ditch. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'll deal with Clementine later. All right, Kenny, what's up? How's it coming? 
found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. Yes, sir. I think I'll go have a look around. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right. So, where's the dog? Yeah, that's from collar. Okay, looks like I'm going digging. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Looks like something was buried here. The dog. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Mm-hmm. And I'm definitely digging. Looks like something was buried here. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Oh, perfect. Take that. that. Shovel is never not useful. Let's go shovel. Some dirt. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Oh, that's a good fucking point. I didn't even think of that. What's buried down there? Uh -uh. Did not even think of that. Uh. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? Mm -hmm. What I want to just do what I say, okay? Uh, oh, um. Okay. That was the wrong choice, I guess. Oh god, the smell. Okay. Yep, there's the collar. Mm. Oh get it off. No. Ugh. Okay, that is not oh, cool. Are you okay? <coughs> Oh God! Uh-uh. Oh, Are you sure you're? I said I'm fine. Okay. The... Nasty. I'm taking this with me. I now. don't need that. Well, I'm digging up dead dogs for today. It's a good weapon. You should take it. Like an idiot. Nothing. Nice. Yes! God damn! And now what? We're not gonna fit through the fucking dog door. You see anything in there? No. Um, Clementine, like. Looks like it's been empty a while. Oh, Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, okay Clementine's see if I can reach there. up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. No good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. There we go. The little Clem. Clem, are you okay? Say something. <laughs> Please open the goddamn door. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> She's so cute. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. Shut up, Ben. Right? Yes, you did. <laughs> you did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? Yeah. My leg's starting to hurt like hell. <laughs> Looks okay from here. Everybody in. I hope we don't run into anybody.
So I kind of disappeared for a moment and I'm back with my hair up because I went on a uh, food break with my little brother. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, they're together. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like Preach. they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Mm. Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Mm. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kitty. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Can I calm down? Damn. Fuck off, please. Seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. Tired as fucking team. All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. Yeah, Carly killed. <laughs> fucking hell. Can I help? Such a babe. What if there's another locked door? I don't think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Alrighty, let's have a wonder. All empty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Water's off. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Finish checking the house before heading back outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must have stopped working a while ago. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. How's it coming? Just looking around. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Mm. Not 
something hiding in here. Not exactly my style. Clear in here. <laughs> Just one more to check. Yikes. Okay, I have a very bad feeling about this. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. <laughs> Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. Hmm. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? <laughs> I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Ay, 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 ay. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? Oh, I can't get him fun. to come down. I hate attics. Stay here. And basements. Oh, for fuck's sake. Grab your gun, fucker. I. This is not gonna be good. It's fucking auto saving. Kenny? All right, <laughs> Kenny. Kenny, you okay, man? Is he possessed? Oh Jesus! What the hell is that? Say. He's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. It does look like Duck. I literally thought it was him. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Sorry, little buddy. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been a clean time if I hadn't found her when I did. Shit, that's so true. If I use the gun, it will make too much noise. Wait, what's this? Oh, shit. 
I'm going to bash his head in. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Is it going to make me? Oh. We should bury him. Next to the door. Or? I'll take care of it. Poor Kenny, he lost his wife and his son. And he didn't even have to lose his wife. She just fucking... Ugh. dramatic effect and <laughs> okay. This is what I'm doing. Just look at it. <laughs> One more. <gasps> Fucking hell! From us. Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. It was a man. It was a I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Right. Kenny? Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? Mm -hmm. I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. 
We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Can Maybe I... it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Mm. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you there was to watch no out option for Omid and come Krista. With us. Help them get ready I would have preferred to have her in my I'm sight. To always stay close to you. I, I do it, not trust this, this teenager and the Sometimes two strangers. I do not trust yet either. So. The group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be mm. back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. <sighs> So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yes, fucker. No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am you I, should. a liability? Yes! Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, just, <laughs> thanks a lot 100%. for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah. Pull reach. Yeah, I Three feel you. people died because of you. And you fucking left Clementine. You cunt. Mm. Mm. Well said. <clears throat> there was an option that would have kicked him out of the group already. He looks so pissed. I mean, I would too, honestly. I don't know what I'd do. Like, if I had just lost my kid and my wife offed herself because of it, I don't. Hey, uh, so you I don't know talk what about I'd it? Do. About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's we... right up ahead. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. Just it's another trap. Him. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? Ringing that is just trying to distract us, create a diversion. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Mm -mm. Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. <sighs> Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! 
It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. <laughs> I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. Okay, grumpy. Fucking hell. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I hope something doesn't sneak up on me while I'm looking through that fucking telescope. Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. It's messed up. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. There's no point of shit, you know. It's not like they can attack me. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? <clears throat> Please have a quarter. Yeah, beautiful. Empty. Ugh. Yeah, that would have been too yeah, easy. Yeah, because people really need money right now. Like, very useful in these times. missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Mm -hmm. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. See if Kenny has a cool time. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. I guess I'll just go up here. A 
should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. <laughs> I went. Someone already looted the place. <laughs> Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. No weeks. It's a bit extreme. I could check his pockets, but then that might. She checked everything. <clears throat> I'm Zombie. Okay. Not, them fire would just bring more walkers. Then what the fuck am I supposed This car. No. Ah. Piece of shit. <clears throat> Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls cracked beneath the waterline while someone stripped out the battery. 
You can't fix it? What the... What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. No sign of any boats down there. Plenty of docks, no boats. That kid? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. This Could be kid. our bell ringer. How about we go find out? <laughs> uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because mm -hmm. I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. The gun Just is unnecessary, bro. Oh, we're gonna talk. Um, motherfucker. No! Clementine! Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Where the fuck did Kenny go? You're not from Crawford. To check. Crawford, what the hell are you talking about? Put your gun down, idiot. Kenny, don't. Oh, okay. No, he's with us. <sighs> Fucking idiot. Another wolf is here to come. Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What the fuck is he on? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yep. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't 
or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What happens to me? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <laughs> but still, children, you're not saying me. In God's name, why? No one stays in Crawford unless they can pull their own weight. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed, another drain on their precious resources. What does that mean, pull their own weight? It just means being able to help out, like you do all the time. Doesn't sound like any kind of way to live to me. <clears throat> Couldn't agree more. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. Uh, <coughs> I knew it! Boy. Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Mm. Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. Uh, that's pretty <laughs> smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Mm. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. <laughs> Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. <sighs> God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. I. Great. Just great. Isn't that the. the way we came? Fuck. The gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a. Gonna let her go? Hey, you can't just leave us here. Really? Watch. No, that's please, not cool. Please don't leave us. Mm -hmm. Drop the stairs, you can't. Come on, make it fast. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, hurry. Oh, you... Get it open. Here, you've got to. 
Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Now what the fuck do I need? Shit. Yep. <clears throat> This doesn't need to fucking crawl through. This is fucking gross. A dead rat. Ain't touching that. The last thing I need is some god awful disease. I swear I just heard something. Zombies. Hmm. It's a drainage pipe. Hold up. Looks like this is where the handle would go, but it's not here. Thing I'm out here and not there. Hmm. Seems loose. Shit. Go.
must have tried to hide out down here. <gasps> Poor it's a homeless guy. I'll take a gun. No Sorry. Bets. He must have saved the last one for himself. Right. You deserve better, old man. Shit, I should have helped. I didn't. <laughs> Didn't even have time to make a decision. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. Tried that. It ain't gonna budge. It's just a sign. Damn, I can't reach it. <laughs> no way I could pick that up on my own. Tried that. Those bars are way too solid. Mm. Don't think that's going to help me find a way out of here. doesn't need to crawl food. Ugh. I have a feeling it will though. It's really fucking annoying. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Huh. Someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's mm. enough to keep people alive for months. Wonder how much of this was left down here from the 60s. This would be enough to keep everyone at the house fit for a while. If only I could get to the house. This would be enough to keep everyone at the house fit for Can't a while. Can't grab any. If only I, could I got get pockets. Jesus. Okay, I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, 
I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and no. they find out down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Thanks, Vernon. I what want do you all the old people. They find out we're down here, right under their feet. Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. <laughs> How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Hmm. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Yeah. She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Vern, what the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first died. days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. I Let's go see about your daughter. Oh. Uh, mm. Dodge. Dodgy. Very dodge. I didn't like them. Hmm. Ooh, support group trophy. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Uh. <laughs> Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax, I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh.
Oh, he's gonna be so pissed. I lied. I lied. I lied. Ah! Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Oh, we have the a doctor. Man wounded. Who's this? The this doctor. Is Vernon. He's a doctor. Yes. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Please don't hate me. Mm. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Uh, why don't you go find your little girl? Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you here? Hello? Molly. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs hey. around with them. Why don't you go bug them? Clementine? See her out there. Okay. Clementine, you up there? Shit. Where could she be? Fuck. I hope she didn't try to look Clem? for me. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Where's Ben, actually? Who? Clem's drawings. But where is she? Huh. Clementine? I'll have time to rest later. Just go downstairs. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? <sighs> Table. Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? <laughs> to hell with you! Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink?
doesn't look like she's in here. Doesn't look like she's in here. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine run off looking for me? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. You're never doing a She was best. frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? <sighs> Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be towards your ass. Him. I'm so fed up with this guy. Clementine? Clementine! Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. She's in there, but no. How'd she get in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? <laughs> and look! Look what I found! A car? A boat! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now what, you drunk piece of shit? What are you gonna do? Mm hmm. I don't blame him. He's going through it. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? 
Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't mm -hmm. you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Uh, I think we could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. Hmm. In pretty good shape, mostly. No mostly. way to get it, though? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. <laughs> there might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. Ooh. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. Mm. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. <laughs> How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. That's true. Can't I come with you? Call me. Okay. Okay. You can come. 
But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. God, this was not the worst decision. If anything happens to Clementine, I will actually lose my shit. I'll actually lose my shit. I care about literally nobody else, just Clementine. I cared about Cardi, and she died. Mm. I also really liked Duck. Check out what I found <sighs> in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? <sighs> What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Bobby. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Mm -hmm. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. I'd yeah, choose Molly over Ben. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Mm-hmm. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Okay. We've got to do this fast. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Not gonna go that way. That part about staying close, that goes double for you. It's definitely gonna go wrong. Mm-hmm. 100% gonna go wrong. Let's go. Is there a person? No. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Fuck. Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, okay, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. It's been taken over. About a zombies. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! This is no more. 
profit. Tricky. Here. Well, I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone in Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? <laughs> or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, we'll keep bad feelings to yourself. Oh no, I hear him. Oh shit. No. 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 Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Back away. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. I mean, it didn't auto save, so I guess I'm kind of safe for now. <clears throat> I don't trust that bitch, though. Hell no. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Mm. Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? This must have been a school. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be Perfect. careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck.
what about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? I don't trust Ben. Fuck You're off. leaving me with Ben? I'm I know, not leaving right? you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. Back before you know it. Something happens to Clementine, uh, especially with Ben. He's already ditched her once. Ugh, I don't trust Nothing him. But crayons and construction paper. Don't trust him at all. I'm gonna soon. This is like the last task before the chapter ends. And I'm pretty sure chapter five is the last chapter, so. Oh, didn't mean to do that again. Alleyway to the auto shops down Shut here. Up. You coming or not? Stop yelling, you fucking. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? You out here? Shut the fuck up. Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. Jam tight. Yeah, I need Molly in her tool. She ditched me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better not get too close. What were you doing up there? Molly? She's dealing with some shit. Molly! What? Leave it to her. I think you got it. One more! Wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. <sighs> Not a problem. Look what I found. Nice. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh. Quick. Quick. 
quick, 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 quick. Come on! He must have done something to her. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Can't reach it up there. It's locked. No way in. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. I think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Give me a tool. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. Kick it. Uh. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Hello. Okay. Still attached to the terminals. Okay. Still attached to the terminals. Okay. One. Two. Still attached to the terminals. How? Got that one off. Okay. Hurry. Up. It's all fuck up. Let's go. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in Driven. here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass.
auto save. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? <laughs> Come on. Parkour. Okay, how? Come on, what are you, chicken? Yeah. Jump. <laughs> what did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> yep. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? made out pretty good too great work Kenny how you doing with that door not so good <laughs> here let me give you a hand Did you get that battery yet yeah Molly has it she should be back here soon she'd better be <laughs> the Georgia state flag a lot of history there but it matters much now, I guess. <laughs> Creepy. Quite. No power, no TV. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? 
Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems Ooh. like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And you're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Well. Oh, there's signs. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. a bunch of paste. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. <laughs> you okay, Clem? Yeah. Mm. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Mm. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. <laughs> Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? No. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Mm-hmm. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. <laughs> no problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened lost my whole family I'm the only one who survived funny how things work out huh yep how long have you known Vernon a couple of years he ran our support group he was really great helping me come to terms with my disease but how do you come to terms with something like this with a place like Crawford I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon he's the one who held us together kept us mm. alive What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. That's how I feel. <laughs> You'd seen what I've seen. You feel the same. <clears throat> I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Right. I can help with the medicine. So. So according to Bree, fuel's at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. <laughs> Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Oh, okay. And 
go ahead and okay. find medicine anywhere. Good. That would be the place to look. Got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's go check on my medicine. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. She a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. <laughs> I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. That it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Oh. Stupid. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> probably haven't worked in months. Medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. <laughs> and what's this? <laughs> How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? 
And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Ooh. Yes, let's watch this. Wait. Why is it pointing at the... Vernon, Krista, come look at this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you What's like, new? you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. Can I'm him. sorry. Over and away. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. That's a good point. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout, and on the floor. Looks like that trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. What the hell happened here? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. Mm, okay. I'm gonna go to the alleyway. Check the body. Hopefully that mob of zombies isn't there anymore. Maybe even if it is, I could just knock that thing over and close the door. And then check the body. If I go back, <laughs> Jesus.
Oh, another tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. Nice. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Fuck. Shit. Time to go. Do I want to watch these tapes? That's the question. Oof. found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. That's what she said. <laughs> Drinking have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Hannah. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. We know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. Nice. Take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. I've looked at everything, so... Out I go. Jesus oh, Christ! Shit. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Shh, don't be there. I'm just kidding. Fucking bitch. <coughs> Here you go. What's that? Nothing. 
sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Jesus. Chip! Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Going on. They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Ben is a liability. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, ben. we talked about this. No. Wait, oh, he's I want to know snap. what he meant. What do you mean snap. this is all his fault? Senny, I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Doug... Kenny, man. I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip a skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. <laughs> not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? <clears throat> of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. I... We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Shit. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. <sighs> I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. Oh, Clementine. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> now can we go? Mm -hmm. Damn right. Vernon, come on. <laughs> Clementine is pissed at me every fucking chapter. I piss her off. Uh, uh, 
And obviously I want to side with so much for the armory. Ben is a little what shit. Left of it. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Gonna hold back upstairs. Lee, look. here this leads to the roof we might be able to find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yes. yeah why never mind i can see the sewer where we came in from here i think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go hmm. Clementine is gonna hate me. Krista? Everything okay? 
Oh, me! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? Uh. He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. <gasps> That's what happened. Shut the fuck up! You can't throw me under the bus. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. <laughs> Man, I hope so. Fuck's I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Cunt. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on it. <sighs> Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. As if much. I didn't feel bad enough for making that decision in the book. Maybe but now's a good is. time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Oh, shit. What? Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. That little girl's in my care! We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Have an all good conversation. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. Oh, it's been fun. She's not coming with. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. <laughs> Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Are you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. You're missing out. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, <laughs> Lee. Should 
she's pretty good with that hook, though. And you be sure to take care one. of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. All right. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, no, he didn't. She was right. Before we leave tomorrow, no. will uh. we have time to look for my parents? <clears throat> I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? She ran off with the walkie. Clementine? Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> She's gone. Morning after trophy. <laughs> oh, what does it? Clementine, Clementine.
crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. <laughs> okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. Please I let this be a dream. It. when you fell asleep on the sofa. You've always been there for me, Lee. You've always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Is it the end of the chapter? Jesus Christ. Is there an ending where he doesn't die? Penultimate. Son of a bitch. Where the hell are they? <sighs> Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. his arm. Maybe. The horde. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch!
Okay. You and 73 people uh, killed the boy. You and 42% of people threatened vermin or lied to vermin. You and 47% of people took Clementine to Crawford. You and 54% of people let them fall. And me and 80% of people showed the bite. Hmm. Interesting. Who can we do? There's an extra episode. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know in the comments what decisions you would have made differently because I feel I fucked up so many things. <sighs> Part of me feels bad about leaving... <laughs> Sorry, dropping Ben and... Having him killed, but at the same time, he was a liability, and I might have died if I hadn't dropped him. Um, but saying that, I'm gonna die anyways. I just got bit. I really do wonder if there was a way to prevent myself from being bit. I know I could have looked behind the cardboard first. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, I guess that's karma for killing Ben. But anyways, I am the list girl and just before I log off, I have just one question for you. What is your next adventure?